Hey, there's Pete with GCI Turf Services in Greensboro, North Carolina. And uh, why should you sharpen lawnmower blades periodically and why should you clean under your deck uh, often? Uh, there's a couple of reasons, but you can kind of look at it like this. Let's say you were going in for a procedure. Uh, would you want the surgeon using a dull scalpel cutting you open? Uh, the reason they use sharp equipment is so that the, the body heals back correctly. Heals back nice and neatly. Um, same thing with your grass. Dull lawnmower blades, you, you tear the blade off when the blade should be getting cut off nice and clean. Uh, it allows it to heal back up, less chance for disease to creep in. Uh, it's, it's far less stressful on the turf. Uh, it looks better. Uh, you can lose discoloration. You can experience discoloration because of dull blades if they're really bad. Because when it cuts, it, it, it tears the blade off. It leaves a white, jagged edge. And then when you have that across the whole entire yard, it's just not really, it didn't look good at all. So a good sharp mower blade, there's nothing like it. Um, our mowing crews, uh, they, they manage about 20 or 30 yards a week uh, for each crew. Uh, and they come in on Fridays and uh, they, they're not allowed to go home until they change every mower, every blade on every mower and clean every deck on every mower. It's just a, it's standard for us. Uh, so our blades get changed once a week. Um, now that's based off about 25 yards. My mower here at the house, this is for the homeowners that mow their own grass, I like to do about every 10 to 15 mowings. And then I, I'll change it. I purposely let it go about 25-ish mowings so far this year just to show you uh, what can happen uh, if you don't. So. Uh, the, the commercial guys, the, our mowing crews use this Dewalt impact wrench and it, just, it zips them on and off really quick. We use a Magnumatic uh, blade sharpener. Uh, commercial guys, an incredible investment for you. Uh, they're about 900 bucks. It's worth its weight in gold. It will save you, I mean it saves you money alone on blades because typically take your blade off, you take it to the mower shop or the repair shop and they stick it in a vise and put a grinder on it and I don't care how good they are or how good they think they are, they still lose the angle on a blade. And this is a brand new blade and you can see this is a 30 degree angle right here. But when they use the uh, a grinder, a bench grinder, they start getting steep. I see blades like this all the time. It's a steep angle. And that's not a good angle to cut. It's a reason for it being 30 degrees. It comes from the factory like that, 30 degrees. And uh, it just, it, the mower overall performs better and it cuts better. So Magnumatic uh, for commercial guys, get you one if you don't have it. Uh, spend the money and you'll, you'll love it. Um, homeowners. Try to find a shop that uses a Magnumatic. That's a great tool. Um, it works well on straight blades. Not so sure about the residential style John Deere mower type things, tractors or whatever you call them that have the curvy blades. I don't think it's going to work real well on that. Uh, you just have to do the best you can. Um, but the way I go about changing mine is I actually have two sets of blades for my mower. This is the set that come off, and you can see they are in rough shape. Uh, they went to like 25 mowings. They're all jagged and beat up, and that's that's just not a good example of a blade you want on your mower. But like I said, I've left it on here uh, just for the intentions of this video to show you. And of course, this is a brand new blade, but obviously I've run it through the Magnumatic to take the paint off and to put a good edge on it. And it's, uh, it's quite sharp. Let's see if we can see if it'll pick this paper. You can see how it cuts this paper right here. It does a pretty good job at it. And that's pretty good for a lawnmower blade, I think. So, uh, 
make sure you change your blades. Uh, make sure you sharpen your blades. Homeowners, it's as easy as going to the, the store, buying a spare set of blades, get your buddy across the street to help you pick your mower up, take a couple of wrenches, bust it loose, put the new ones on, throw the old ones in the car, and you go by the lawnmower shop or the welding shop or wherever. So it's very, very, very important that you keep your mower blades sharp. About every 10 to 15 times you cut your grass, you need to change them. That's, uh, I don't know if you see any uh, textbook behind that, but that's what I prefer uh, just because of results. Uh, commercial guys that mow commercially and mow yards for clients uh, throughout the week, you owe this to your customer to give them the highest quality service that you can possibly give them. So, uh, homeowners, if you are using a commercial service to cut your grass, you might want to shoot them a text or an email and ask them, so how, how, many, how often do you sharpen your blades? So uh, that's, that's pretty important because you're paying them for quality service and they need to be giving you that. Uh, that's the bottom line. Uh, the second thing is cleaning up under the deck. And this is kind of it's kind of simple. This little scraper thing here, and you basically get on the ground and crawl up under here and scrape it off. And this is uh, this is about 25 cuts worth. Uh -huh. And you can see this humongous pile I got here. Check this out. This comes came from about 25 cuts 20 to 25 cuts and see how that builds up what happens is that builds up under the deck and it disrupts the airflow these decks are, are made uh, a certain way for a certain reason you see how they're kind of rounded well that's where the blade spins and it creates a you know a, a twirling effect and that's what kind of shoots the grass outside so when you have big chunks of grass stuck up under there, it disrupts that flow. Now I clean this one pretty good. Um, about twice a year, I'll take a pressure washer to it. But that's not that's not a big deal. The, the little bit of uh, grass that's still left up under there is not a humongous deal. It's just kind of a skim layer. Is the main thing is get these big chunks out. I've seen mower decks that had so much of this clogged up under it, it was barely enough room for the blades to go up under there to spin. And it's just caked. Uh, the, the, the mower deck can't function the way the manufacturer, manufacturer has intended for it to function unless you keep it clean. So, this is especially true if you have to mow when your grass is a little damp, like early morning, there's a dew on the ground and you just have to cut it. We don't recommend cutting then. You want to always make sure that your grass is completely dry when you cut it. <coughs> Commercial guys, uh, we can't help this sometimes. We have to get the job done, so we have to kind of, you know, uh, revise that a little bit at times and mow when the grass is wet, so especially then that grass is going to be sticking to the bottom of the deck and you definitely, if we have to mow when, it, when it's wet, when the guys come in that day, they clean those decks immediately so that we get it off while it's still wet and it's easy to come off. So homeowners, um, sharpen those blades uh, very often, uh, I'd almost go the more often the better. Um, this is going to help with the quality of your turf. It's just something, a part of what you have to do to help us give you the yard you want. And then uh, commercial guys, uh, it's as simple as you owe it to your customer. Uh, and the mower decks, keep them as clean as you can possibly clean them. If I had more time, I would probably clean my deck every time I mow it, every time I cut the grass. But I'm just I'm a super busy guy, like a lot of you. and. Uh, I'll clean it about once a month uh, during the cutting season. And I just pop it up right here on the carport with uh, a box or you know whatever I can find to prop it up and climb up under and scrape it off and it's a done deal. So uh, I'll put a link to the, uh, to the Magnumatic in the description. Uh, thank you guys for subscribing and uh, we'll check you later.